what a day, right? I just want to take a minute to, to I mean, over the last year and a half with everything that's gone on, uh, to see a room filled with this many people, it's incredible. So I, I speak for the Wilkinsons and I speak for the McGoverns when I say thank you for being here. And you, you are all family tonight to us. So uh, mi casa, su casa, and all that other stuff. But your family, and the reason why you're here tonight is because you've all, I look around this room, you've all created a memory. Some of you have created a memory for the Wilkinsons, some of you have created a memory for the McGoverns, but most of you have created a memory for Christian and Brad. So, I just want to say, um, we've got an incredible family. Most of you don't know, we have seven kids, me and Kay. So we like big, we like big. And uh, we're fortunate enough to have the Earhart's join us a couple years ago. And uh, now we've got uh, Bill and Kelly and Darcy as part of our family. We love expanding. We love it. It's incredible. Thank you for being a part of our family. We've had nothing but fun over the last year and a half. They are great people. We are blessed by you guys. Definitely blessed by you guys to have you. Yeah, I know all of you are here and are going to have a good time. But um, I need to talk about someone who's not there. Um, can't look at you. <laughs> we all wish Kristen's mom was here tonight. Um, but, you know, she's here in spirit, and that's what everybody always tells me. But, you know, that's never good enough for me um, that she's here in spirit. I love you forever and ever. I love you forever and ever. That's what Carol used to say to the kids every night before they went to bed, when they were babies all the way through. I'd hear that down the hall. I mean, I agreed with it, I just wasn't saying it. But uh, she would say, I love you forever and ever. And uh, it was something that they never went to sleep with until they heard. And uh, unbeknownst to me, uh, after uh, she passed away, uh, I found in the dresser area some um, gold uh, hearts that she made. And on the front it had each kid's name, and on the back it had uh, I love you forever and ever. And Kristen has that with her tonight, so I do feel honored that we do have a piece of Carol here tonight with us. So I think that's incredible. She's here more than in spirit. Anyway, it was truly an honor raising three kids. They were gifts to me, and I've always taken it as that. And uh, raising Kristen was a lot of fun. It's a great kid. She was born on the wrong side of the border, as most of her friends know. Um, I remember taking her to a place called Bobaleo, and she was eight years old. And the guy brings us chips and salsa, and she looks at him and goes, hey, I want some refried beans. So they bring some refried beans, she dips one chip in the refried beans, and she looks at me and says, don't ever take me here again. <laughs> this kid knows her refried beans, I want to say. But I will, I will tell you, one of the things that is a great attribute to Kristen is how many friends she can make. She loved making friends, and one of the greatest things she ever said to me was she went to Bennett, and it was the summer before freshman year, and they had this, like, um, like this get together for the freshmen, welcome the freshmen. And she looked at me and I said, you know, you've only got like a dozen kids coming from St. Mary's into this. She goes, you know what, Dan? I can't wait to go in there because I want to see how many friends I come out with. And I thought that was just awesome, you know? And that's the way she is, you know? That's the way she's been. And uh, she's incredible at that. And you know, being a single dad and raising girls especially, I mean, uh, was rather rough and I I kept watching out you know for the guys you know I mean because you know I know how they think hello I'm one you know <laughs> so I was keeping an eye on her from a distance because I know she get edgy but I'm trying to find out you know these guys and this and that and she she'd always go to a dance and she would never tell me who she's going with but she'd get a dress she'd get earrings she'd get all this stuff and she'd say oh yeah i guess i gotta get a guy so I, guys were just like an accessory for her i thought like hey, i got earrings i got a dress and oh yeah i gotta get a guy you know? <laughs> 
It was a beautiful day in Iowa City. That's what I wanted to hear. It was a beautiful day in Iowa City. We were at this house, and it was uh, an incredible house for kids. I don't know who the heck bought this thing or who it was. I don't know if they're here tonight, but this was a beautiful house. And I was told to cook chicken and hot dogs, and I did that. And in the backyard, are all these bags going on with dads and boys. And so everybody's having a blast. And I walk over and I stand next to Jay. And I'm smelling a cigar. And these guys are all playing bags. And I said, God, that cigar smells good. And this guy comes running right out of the middle of the bags, then comes over, clips a cigar, hands it to me, lights it for me, and said, Here you go, Mr. McGovern. And I'm just like, I walked away and I looked at Kay and go, that's a great kid. I like that kid. And that's when she said, that's Kristen's boyfriend. And you know, I, I some of you folks that are my age over the fall to get mouse traps. I just felt that little plastic trap like coming right around me. Because everybody who knows me knows that you can get me a scotch and cigar. And I, I really feel shallow that my life is that shallow. I guess you can do that to me, and it still works, by the way, so just so you know. Anyway, I wanted to introduce all of you to my lovely wife, Dave Rowan. Come on up here. Ready? Yeah. May you both have a love that never ends, a life filled with many friends, healthy years in whatever you do, and may God send you many blessings to you. Slide shot! I Bradley take you, Kristen, to be my wife. To be my wife. I, promise to be to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In, good times and in, bad. in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I Kristen take you, Bradley. I Kristen take you, Bradley. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you, all the days of my life. May the Lord this time strength to consent to declare for the church and mercy to bring this blessing of you. Christian, receive this ring. Christian, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bradley, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> May the Lord Jesus who graced the marriage of the King of His presence bless you and your loved ones. May he who loved the church to the end unceasingly pour his love into your hearts. Amen. 
May the Lord grant that bearing witness to the faith in his resurrection, you may await with joy the blessed hope to come. Amen. And may mighty God bless all of you who are here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass and go forth in peace. May we know that the name and honor and the I'm Megan, Kristen's older sister. Um, I first want to say it's such an honor to have the opportunity to speak with you all about my favorite couple tonight. Everywhere she goes, Kristen brings her affable, goofy, and contagious personality with her, and she's a magnet for other people. Her positivity and laughter were my rock as we navigated some really hard times and really good times together. When our family finally met Brad, it felt like right away we had known him forever. He was incredibly caring, supportive, and had this lighthearted attitude that makes you want to be around him. At the end of the day, it's Kristen and Brad's loving and contagious personalities that make them such an incredible couple. They not only love spending time with each other, but enjoy sharing that love with the rest of the people in their lives, especially the people in this room tonight. I know they will make an amazing husband and wife as they continue to surround each other with endless amounts of laughter and happiness. I love you both so much and I'm very excited for tonight and for all the wonderful times to come. So as with all McGovern weddings, I have a short Irish toast to end. So please raise your glasses. Lucky stars above you, sunshine on your way, many friends to love you, joy in work and play. Laughter to outweigh each care, in a heart a song, and gladness waiting everywhere, all your whole life long. Slancha. everyone, my name is Zach Johnson and not only am I Brad's uh, best man, but I'm also his best friend, college roommate, travel buddy, drinking buddy, gambling buddy, golfing buddy, therapist, older brother, just to name a few. Um, when Brad asked me to be his best man, I instantly said yes. Um, I thought, wow, all the hard work I put in over the last 11 years has finally paid off. <laughs> um, unlike Brad, being Kristen's friend is the opposite of hard work. Um, outside of her killer dance moves and uncanny ability to fall asleep in any given situation, Kristen is one of the kindest, funniest, and most optimistic people that I know. If you know them, I think we can all agree that if Brad and Kristen were ever to get into a fight, Brad should just apologize immediately because there's no way it's Kristen's fault. But in all seriousness, uh, Kristen isn't getting that bad of a deal either by locking Brad down. He's got a great sense of humor, he doesn't take himself too seriously, and will always be there for you whenever you need him most. Um, so I can stand here and continue to speculate why you two are together, but for whatever the reason is, I'm just so glad that you two found each other. So if everyone can join me in raising a glass, 
Here's to a lifetime of health, happiness, and love. Kristen, welcome to the family. Cheers. <laughs> Who's ready for the bride and groom? No, 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 you can do better than that. Who's ready for Kristen and Brad?